many of the best things that I think we've done, many of the best things that I've done, they're kind of accidents or lucky, lucky finds on the way to another thing. And that's very hard to, it doesn't sound very certain if you say it that way, you know. Um, so, well, you know, we kind of set off in this direction, but probably we'll find something else along the way that will be more interesting than what we thought we were doing. And that is, that's a pretty weird set of promises and negotiations to be, to be involved in. Very often what you do is by accident. You think you're doing one thing and you end up doing another thing. You set off in one direction and you end up going in another. Stop. Once upon a time there was a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stop. Once upon a time there was a one-eyed snake. Stop. Once upon a time there was a three-legged bull who was incredibly strong and incredibly fast. Stop. Once upon a time, there was a woman whose husband died, and after he died, she found under the bed a gun. And in the absence of her husband, missing him and missing his touch, she began to play with the gun. Stop. You feel like the, the pressure is, the demand is for a, a greater degree of certainty and a proof that you can deliver every time. And you know, you know the reality is that you stumble around and you maybe you get lucky, you chance on something, and that that's a bit how we work. You know, a more complicated way to look at it is to say that what what you get good at is uh, putting in place a set of conditions that hopefully will later lead to a lucky accident. You're not totally blind, or, or you know, you're not operating without a system. But your system is only a system for embarking on a, a, a journey for something. And the hope is you get used to this idea that sooner or later on that particular wild goose chase, you might end up with something else. She didn't notice at first. She said, Stop. Once upon a time, there was a mouse that made its home in the barrel of a double-barreled shotgun, which had been <laughs> left under a bed. And... Stop. 